So then I called my cousin called John Omondi, who used to stay in Nairobi. And I told him, I want to come to Nairobi and hustle with you. So Mosh said that, but you did well in your cases. Why don't you just go to the university? I said, no, I'm not going to the university. So Mosh said, okay, come to Nairobi. I went to Nairobi, a place called Satellite, Kabiria. We stayed in one room with Omosh. Omosh had no job, was a security officer, no serious job. We were paying a rent of 1,500 Kenya shillings. And one day Omosh came back with a newspaper in the house. So before I left, before I left Kisumu to Nairobi, I told my mom, I'm leaving, I'm going to Nairobi. My mom started crying and said, why are you not going to the university? I told her, I'm going to look for my life, and one day, and I quote, I will come back here in two forms. One, I will come back here in a coffin, or I will come back here driving. Those are the things I told my mom, and I left because I was so disappointed. So, so disappointed. There is no single day that I was out of top three at Kisumu Boys. The first student in Kenya, and any of my former classmates can confirm this, who identified a mistake set in mathematics paper 2, KCSE, was Babu Oweni. When I raised it, they said there can't be a mistake in KCSE, therefore you are wrong. After 40 minutes, the invigilator came back and said, indeed, there is a mistake. Correct. My former schoolmates can clarify that. There is no single day I was out of top three in Kisumu Boys. And we were 304 candidates. So I made a decision. So when you are saying that you are learning about decision making in your university, in your various groups, I was so proud of myself because I made a decision that has made me be here today. So I went to Satellite, Omosh came with a newspaper one day, looking through the newspaper, reading the newspaper, saw a scholarship being offered at Millennium Academy. Then Omosh was the first person to tell me, why don't you apply here and just waste time there instead of sitting here idly in the house? So I applied for the scholarship at Millennium Academy, was successfully admitted at Millennium Academy. I was the head boy, Millennium Academy, for two terms. At Kisumu Boys, I was a student leader for a period of the four years that I was at Kisumu Boys. I was to be made the head boy, but because I didn't have money to board, the head boy position was a preserve of the boarders, the people who were the students who were boarding. At Millennium Academy, we did an exam, international examinations. In mathematics, I became number two in the whole world. The first person was from Spain who got 98%, I got 97%. <laughs> then with that, my director told me, Babu, I was given a scholarship to do actual science at Southampton University in southern London, but I was given 70% scholarship, so I couldn't afford 30%, which was over 2 million Kenya shillings. So, my director advised me to pursue actual science at the University of Nairobi, where I applied and was successfully admitted. While at Millennium Academy, there's a parent who approached me, called Margaret Ron, works with the United Nations, that day I scooped so many prizes for maths, accounts, physics, and chemistry. She told me, Babu, I want you to help my son at a fee. The son was my classmate, is now an engineer in the US Navy, Miss Engineer Larry Rono. Then she asked me where I was coming from. I told her my history, my life story, and she offered that I move in their house to stay there in 
I, I, I helped the son, my, my classmate, in return. She was providing accommodation, clothing, food, and transport to the school. I went and discussed with the Mosh and gladly joined the family 